What is going on, you guys? Welcome to the Wall Street Vibe, where we're keeping you up on all things financial, um, financial news, uh, stock, anything stock related. So if you like this type of content, be sure to like, subscribe, and be sure to share your thoughts about the video on the comment section. All right. Um, by the way, my name is Flash, and we're going to get to it. So as most of you know, uh, SVB, Silicon Valley Bank, they have collapsed, right? So the news is out already. Um, everybody knows that the federal government is stepping in to take care of the depositors of the bank. Um, obviously, if you've been keeping up with the story, you know that this is now considered the second largest bank collapse in U.S. history. The first one being Washington Mutual in 2008. And... My thoughts on this are, I feel like we are headed for darker times. Um, you know, Biden coming out saying that, hey, you know, I have faith in the, in the financial system. Well, to be honest, I don't. And the reason why is because things like this happen, have happened, it feels like it's almost regularly now, right? Like you almost become numb to it because they always get bailed out for the poor decisions that they make, right? So what I'm gonna cover today in the video is basically the collapse like explained in better detail, right? So basically what happened was uh, SVB became, you know, as they grew to the 16th largest uh, bank in America, they invested their funds in long-term bonds and when the well they basically did this when the rates were nearly zero right now it seemed like a good idea at the time however when interest rates started rising uh the long-term bond prices fell so um basically it cratered their entire investments and then on wednesday of last week uh svb announced that it had suffered a 1.8 billion dollar after tax loss and they were urgently trying to raise capital after they lost the 1.8 billion in after-tax losses the market reacted extremely like just very sharply and SVB lost over a 160 billion dollars in value in just 24 hours if you can imagine that their stock price went from 287 dollars by Monday and by Friday it was at 39 dollars a share so because banks only carry a portion of, of depositors money due to the fractional reserve banking. So this basically meant that SVB couldn't give their depositors their money right away because they were all tied up in those long term bonds that were continuously losing value as the rates continued to hike up. So what happened was when they didn't have the cash they needed to fulfill their obligations to their customers everybody panicked and they went straight to the bank to uh, withdraw all their money at such a rate that FDIC pretty much had to step in and take over in order to address the depositors concerns right so um, also another bank that has failed since then has been the signature bank over in New York right now obviously a lot of the legislators and and people that are in the you know in the government system they are downplaying the fact that there's gonna be some type of contagion from this bank now you don't get to the 16th largest bank without having having other banks kind of funding your your stuff right so I would imagine that there is going to be some type of contagion effect we've already seen a lot of bank stocks start to fall just because of that and the lack of trust you know from the American people um, you know in the banking system so people were running straight to the bank to go get their money and you know I mean rightfully so um, it's not the first time it's happened, right? Lehman Brothers, Bear Stearns, uh, some of the largest uh, investment banks that went under in 2008 as well. Um, Washington Mutual being the largest with 300 billion in assets managed. Now, uh, Silicon Valley Bank had 212 reported at the end of 2022. And at the time of the failure, they actually had 209 billion in assets and 175 billion in deposits at the time of the failure. Um, the FDIC had actually said that in a statement. One interesting thing here is though, is that some of the C-suite executives were actually being paid bonuses just days before. And then also the CEO, Greg, 
Greg Becker sold, I think it was somewhere around $3.6 million of stock. I would say probably about two weeks before the and you know before they made the announcement that they were about to fail. Peter Thiel's Founders Fund also withdrew millions of dollars Thursday before the FDIC took over the bank. Now, the one question I have for you guys is what do you think is, is gonna come of this, right? Do you have faith in the financial system anymore? Do you think this is a way for them to crash the market, devalue the dollar, and incorporate their CBDC, their central bank digital currency, which is, you know, something completely different, right? Now, um, another thing is, is that the federal government, the Federal Reserve has, uh, guaranteed that all depositors will get their money back not just the fdic insured money that was previously stated so biden the the federal reserve they're going to be printing money this is not good because we've already printed i believe 75 percent of the money that's in circulation at the moment was printed in 2020 to give everybody their stimulus right stimulus checks everybody was going out buying shit for no reason right instead of saving it or trying to invest it um they just flushed it back into the economy so we grew at a faster than normal rate which was definitely not good for the economy right um we are definitely an overstimulated economy if you ask me and you have to imagine that you know uh, a lot of people are going to be affected just from what's going on here. Um, I feel like this is just the first domino, but I'd like to get your thoughts on this. And you guys just go ahead and comment down below. What is your thoughts on the CEO selling off stock just weeks before finally disclosing that they were under pressure? And then also, what is your thoughts on um, giving bonuses to the other executives essentially so guys go ahead and let me know down in the comments below if you like this video and you like content like this be sure to like and subscribe um, mainly just subscribe to the channel share out the content if you really enjoy it and then be sure to turn on that notification so that way you guys don't miss a thing for whenever I drop my next video just uh, be prepared uh, make smart choices and remember just be a good person peace love bye Boom. I'll get better at this. I promise. I'll get better.